Right, Jason, what are you doing all the way down here? No, what are you doing all the way down there? I'm up here, you're down here. That's a nice looking van. That's a nice looking van, Cav. That's a nice looking van. Midnight black. I've never seen a white midnight. Unless it snows, of course. You've never what? I've never seen a white midnight, have you? Because <laughs> it's in, in Iceland. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, it doesn't go dark, does it? Yeah. So, Kevin, this is an auto trail tribute T660. Why is it called a 660? 6.6 metres long? No, 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 it's 5.99 metres long. Yeah. Well, they, were no, they were no good at maths then. <laughs> <laughs> Sake measure had a bit missing off it. Oh. Mr. Oats Trail, 599 doesn't sound as good as a 660. Oh. Yeah. Well, so, we were going to call it a 666, but we thought they'd better not do that. <laughs> yeah. So, it's an Oats Trail tribute T660. Now, this one, I know why it's called a 660, because this van's only done 5066. Ah, right. There you go. So, they change it every year, they may. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's a 2020, it's a 2.3 litre turbo diesel with 148 brake horsepower. That's telling us it's on the new engine. Yeah. Because even 140, 160's new engine, odd 130, 150 is old engine cab. Yeah, sure. Okay. Now, the rear lounge, right, conversion form a big part of the UK market. It's really, really popular cab. Did it you is. know that? Yeah. Now, white on this, not on this one, but white is the standard colour, basically. Um, but you do get the options. You get a Lux pack, which is 1349 extra, and that gives you the Zenic Zent Dab radio with built-in sat, um, colour reversing camera, awning fly screen, sliding door, 100 watt solar panel, and more importantly, an electric step for the side. Wow. That's not bad value actually for 1300 quid. That's pretty good, that. Yeah, it was not 2020 though. Yeah, yeah. So, now, I'll tell you some nice interesting facts, Kev. Well, what's Finn written for you now? <laughs> if they're all wrong, it's not my fault. <laughs> and it's not your not fault. fault. No, not my fault, mate. <laughs> it's Finn. It's dead. So, did you, did you not realise, Kev, Auto Trail began life as an established touring caravan and motor caravan repair business? Yeah. But they don't do caravans. Yep. Right. Yep. But then in the early 80s, the proprietors, Bill Bozeman and Barry Holmes, decided to have a go at designing and building their own coach built motor home. Yeah. The tribute. Yeah. 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 Col I like the colour coded yep. uh, awning. Yeah. Tribute brand, right, came under the Auto Trail umbrella in what year? Oh, Come on, everybody, have a I'd, guess. I'd say about 1989. 1997. Oh. Right, there you go, interesting yeah. fact. As Kev says, love the colour coding. Yeah. We've got LPG on board. Yeah. Fresh water. Alloy wheels. Standard alloy wheels, which I really, really like. Do yeah. you like them, Kev? Yeah, fit, fit alloys, aren't they? Yeah. Red door. Reversing camera. And then we've got um, electric cook up, gas, gas and electric. We've got the fresh water, wastewater, cassette toilet. Now, there isn't a lot of decals on it, no. but I think less is more here. Because decals do fade as the van gets older. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you've got to start replacing decals or taking them off and they leave marks. And, but it's yeah. a nice, nice colour. So, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, Euro 6, oh, guess what, Kev? Nine speed. Auto. auto, the new auto box, yeah. Shall we have a look at this cab? A proper auto. Let's go inside and have a quick scout around. You, so, you bragged about the electric step. Yeah. You didn't put it out. There we go, electric step. I'm a panther, Kev. I'm bound into, bound into the vans. It's warm in here. Warm in here, isn't it? I'll tell you what we will do. I've got a scar tape in there. Let's have a look at this cab. I'll tell you a little bit about it. So, we've got the steering wheel. Yep. Good spot for steering wheel there, Kev. Right. Really in, good front, in front of the drivers. Yeah, a really right. good spot. We aren't getting blinds on though. No, no. So, okay. We're getting automatic, so we're I not blind. This is a tribute. Okay, I bet you can say it's an entry level, aren't you? The tribute is. Every single van you look at is always the, an entry no, level. No, if it's tribute, it is. So, what's the next one up? Is it, is it the V line? Yeah. 
That'll oblige. Right. Media pack, yep. air con, mm -hmm. and we've also got your blown air system as well. Yeah, yeah. nice, nice upholstery. I like the upholstery, I do, yeah. You haven't done your own work here, have you? Not showing the van off properly, are you? Come on, you're just getting in the bloody way, aren't you? Uh, carpets have been taken up for obvious reasons. You close the door, man. Ah, sorry, we're having it. So we got a fly screen on that door, don't we? Oh yeah. Fly screen. Mm. I don't like. I don't like opening the fly screens. No, no. Because guess what? Break them. I'm gonna pull that back, Kev. Yeah. Now you're probably Kev in the wrong position there, mate. Do you want to swap around? I am, yeah, because I'm in the end lounge. Yeah. The ever popular end lounge. I like the control panel as well. Simple. Yep. Got the true line out there. Reminds me of an airplane. Yeah. With the lockers. Plenty of lockers there, Kev. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast these outside as well. Right, where were we? I tell you what I don't know. How do we get them lights on? Which lights are they? These? Are they touch lights? Yeah. Oh. No. There's got to be a switch somewhere, Jason. Where else on the Kev? Mm. I'm not finding it. I'm not really finding it. Anyway, it's got lights there. <laughs> because it's not dark, we're not going to put the no, lights yeah. on. You don't. We've got plenty of lights on, Kev, we can see. Yeah. I think these manufacturers do it on purpose. They add switches from us, don't they? Yeah. It's doing my head in now. Will they make a single bed? Do you want me to find out for you, Kev? Probably for me. I will show. Do you know what? They would. I'm yeah. getting a single bed. Yeah, two singles. That's getting nice. a single bed. I like that. But, would you like me to demonstrate what we do? We can pull out. And make a large cover. Very large cover. It's a big double, that is, Kev. And the other thing I do like about it, Jason. That. That's a big double. Yeah. And the other thing I do like about it. Yeah is the fact that you're sleeping lengthways instead of transversely. But you find on a van conversion, if you... Only because it's a short wheelbase you will, but hey, that's a good point. This is a size 6 metre van. Yeah. Yeah, with two single beds. Doesn't feel a 6 metre van, does it? Because you usually find with van conversions is you've only got 6 foot, just over 6 foot, haven't you, with your width. Yeah. Which is a bit tight, you know, if you're a tall person, then you... you have Doesn't feel, it feels bigger. Yeah. That's got me. Are you sure this is a six metre van? I don't know. Have we got the measurements right here? I didn't do them. No, Finn did them. Well, he usually gets them right. No, we need to check up on that. Mike's got it wrong. Yeah. yeah, he's got it wrong. I think he's got it wrong. I think yeah, it's this is a long wheelbase. Six. We've got another van there. And yeah. It's, yeah. So you scratch everything. Yeah. It's a 6.36. So I told you to do things for a reason. It's got me, hasn't it? Yeah. It's got me. Right, so we. Um, We've got nice lockers. Nothing really showy. That gets me as well. You know when people look at remote phones? Why do they open the lockers? Yeah. See if anybody's left anything. Yeah. Got <laughs> so fly screen. Blinds. Yeah. There. Uh, there's not an awful lot I can show you at the back. Oh, other yeah. than let's have a look at what we've got underneath, Kev. Oh, here we go. We've got the true monitor. Sergeant, control yep, so panel. Uh, your battery. Yep. Oh, it doesn't lift up. And then let's have a nose at the other side, see what we've got in here. Well, you've got storage on there, again. I think it's all going to be storage there, Kev. Yeah. Yep. Storage, there's your cut cable. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. So. Moves into the middle of the van. Okay. Do you want to swap a Rooney? Did you guess what the fresh water is? Unless. Yeah. 100. No. 68. Uh, did you guess what the waste is? 68 Cav! Well, well, put in a glass. Now this is a really big campsite. It's huge, isn't it? It is. And we've got to found a spot where we thought we'd be out of the way, nobody would be around us, but guess what we get, Cav? We get them cut in a glass. I mean, that would have strewn next. <laughs> Stop building a house next, won't we? Yeah. There's about 200, is it 280 pictures on yeah. this site? <laughs> and he's coming back, do it again, yeah. as well. Right, okay, we're digesting, digesting, divulging. So, three and a half, plenty yeah. to Kev, really. Combined, combined them well. Yeah, we've got the little sink here, again. And what you have got is the extension. Yeah. Okay, 
um, fresh water, um, that's going to be hot and cold because we've got the Truma yeah. net, gas and electric. Have we got a swim, oh, passenger seat swivels? Well, both seats swivel. Both seats will swivel, Kev. Now, people are going to say, Kev, what's the point of having that swivel in there? Mm -hmm. What is the point? And I'll tell you what the point is. You can turn that there, Kev. Yeah. Right. And then I can sit here like this. Yeah. yeah. Put, your feet, I put your feet up on that one. I put my feet up on there. Yeah. I can look out to my view. Right. And you can look at the vista. And whoever I'm with, I can fall asleep. We won't even know I'm asleep. Yeah. Isn't that like that? We will when you start snoring. So, so if there is a point of it. Yeah. It's quite nice here actually, Kevin. Oh, now he's going to mow the concrete. Can't make this up, can you? Yeah. So, okay, so opposite that, we have our wardrobe. Now there is there a pole there, Kev. So the pedestal table. Yeah, yeah, and I'll just show you. Just down here, we've got the table. There you go. For it. And then, Kevin, do you want to do the honours and do the? I'll do the shower room. We've got the uh, a wet, obviously a wet room because it's a van conversion. All fully lined. Uh, and you've got your drop it down sink. Droppy down sink. Droppy down sink, look, which is all you need in a van. And then obviously you've got your storage as well there. Set toilet. Decent size shower. Yep. Yeah, man, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I don't think there's an awful lot more I can tell you to be honest with you. Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah, it's not really an awful lot to be honest. Yeah. So, Kevin. Price. Do you want to price? No, do I? 58 to 60,000. This yeah. is going to be, don't forget, like I say, it's a 2020. It's got the new engine on it. It's 140. That's, that's good, good value. It's got the, obviously, the Lux pack on that we talked about earlier. Oh, right? Automatic. Oh, automatic. So there's another 4,000 on top of the price. Yeah. Basically. You know what will happen? We'll stop doing the video and you'll stop. Is this side now, Kev? I will start video on, on the that one. We'll start on that yeah, one. Yeah. Um, who's this going to suit, Kev? Uh, a couple. A couple, yeah. I mean, it's two Yeah. What can you say? Yeah. We've got the bonus of the long bench seats, haven't we, as yeah. well? Good size bench seats. I'm five foot eleven. Um, we've got the good storage above as yeah. well. Um, it's doing everything that camper van should do, shouldn't it? I like the Australians. Yeah. You do like Australians, don't you? Anyway, come on, let's go.